Welcome to Nox A Carnival Volume 6 Festival in uh, SJZ Drugstore Berlin. I managed to say that and I'm here with uh, Doom Pig. So guys, please tell me the story of your band. Um, Easy question first. It's like you, you go first. It was like we formed out of the ashes from another band. And um, first we two started and then very quick after that Jonas joined us and we uh, yeah, played a lot of time, practice, practice, practice. And then at some point you joined in, yeah, when it, some drinking was in, involved. At the festival, at the festival, yeah. We were drunk and we were like, like, what the fuck, like, why can't I join or something? <laughs> and I think Robert really made a uh, difference from the sound, so we got very, uh, got better when he joined us. And now we are, have some gigs in some years, very rarely. We don't play that often, <laughs> but uh, we make it good today. Uh, yeah, as you say, it's a uh, tactical death metal. So, uh, what does uh, is that your own category? Yeah. Like every, you know, every metal band has yeah. to have one. So, um, you yeah, care to elaborate? Can I tell? Can you can you evolve out of, uh, out of mistake from his uh, roommate? Um, he wanted to say technical death metal, but and he then, failed. And he failed and said <laughs> tactical death metal. So the new genre was born, and we thought it was funny. And according to Knox, our county will, we are pretty good in what we're doing because <laughs> they, they wrote on their yeah. homepage, we are, um, we make our own style out of tactical death metal. Yeah. So you see, it's, uh, it's became, really, it became, became a thing unique, now. Yeah. Before we knew it, like we, <laughs> and we are like, well, I'm actually we, sure I uh, <laughs> read it in your Facebook page. So you must promote this yourself too. Yeah, of course <laughs> we do. We do. Yeah. <laughs> we are fully behind. <laughs> yeah, I think more more people should join the tactical death metal. That yeah. is, that is uh, something that I want to hear. <laughs> okay, so you have your own category, and you you, you know attach uh, new people to your band from gigs. So, um, what are the future plans for this band? Like you said, you don't gig that much. So why is that? So we declared or, different or, roles for the band, and Robert became our organizer. Organizator. Or, or, yeah, whatever. That's a difference. Organizer. <laughs> and um, you know, I joined the band, and the people were like, "We are not doing this guys who, who do organization." So I, I I had to become the organizer, and I had to tell them like I'm like you. You know, we are on the same level. No. So, so yeah, it was a little diff difficult. And um, but now we tried and it's getting better maybe. I hope so. And I guess um, part of our music or part of the most of the reason why we make music is uh, to make music for ourselves. And it, I like it does. I mean, if people enjoy it, that is a nice thing. And I want to give away this music if people like it. Um, but I guess the the reason why we make music is to uh, do weird things in our like band room. Yeah, and that yeah, is yeah, that is nice the main time. purpose of this band. And but um, now we are here, cool. and uh, I don't know. We got out of the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Practicing space. Okay, so uh, let's talk about your live gig since we uh, kind of missed it today, you know, ah. because we were in the toilet. But uh, so uh, <laughs> in, in the toilet. <laughs> Good reason. Though. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> how important are live gigs for you guys? Sorry, yeah. How um, important? The love gigs are great. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have them so often. No, I mean it's always it's it's always fun to it's always fun to see people enjoying our music. I guess that is. Uh, I mean, I guess getting good feedback is one of the nicest things, like, yeah. to to hear. Um, and also, it's it's, it's uh, very much uh, fun to, to play on stage, and you know. The, I like the feeling very much. So yeah, being anxious about it sucks. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, like that's part of the deal. So. But it's funny too. Yeah, <laughs> you have to know, like, if you practice every week alone, like you and, and like girlfriends come or something, you are not hundred percent sure if it's really good what you're doing, or if it's or it shit or something. And then so you go on stage and people are liking it, and you're like. This is why we are doing it. You know, it's a good, good feeling. Okay, so how was it today? It was nice. Uh, good feedback. Yeah. All over the place. Felt like a lot of caffeine. 
in the rush. <laughs> and alcohol. Yeah. Also involved. <laughs> so uh, what does metal well. music mean to you guys? Is it a, is it a lifestyle already? Or how do you see uh I guess it's shirt. Tell me what you think. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's nice that's part of the deal. No, but I mean I guess I guess I guess if you uh, okay, so so here's what I think. I think um, that if you um, like if you ha if you like music, you should have a taste in music. And like if you can declare one specific genre as your taste, for me that would be metal. Though I'm still listening to a lot of other music, and I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, all of us li listen to kind of different metal. And yeah, but little little uh, amount is is. Um, as old yeah, like this we have a shield. Shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robert, Robert's voice. But we still play metal together because we like to explore the sound mm. of hard music. <laughs> and uh, I think that's what is then categorized as metal. If you uh, just <laughs> play riffs but turn on the distortion, play it fast and have some beers and an aggressive sense behind it, then it's will be called metal, and that's why because we we love it, we can experiment in it. Also, there's <laughs> this um, motto. It's like my personal motto, and also a little of the band. <laughs> it's like it's hard to translate. <laughs> you can say it in German too. Yeah. In, in German, it's called Schreien und Kämpfen. So it roughly translates to um, screaming and fighting. Screaming and fighting. That's that's kind of what we all agree on. Yeah, it's like especially that's drunk on the festival. <laughs> that's what we do, and that's what's categorized <laughs> as metal. So, yeah, people <laughs> call it metal. Do, so yeah, it's metal. So that's uh, it's natural yeah. following of or prim instincts, primal instincts, <laughs> primal instincts. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what kind of bands would you list as your influence for uh, Doom Peak? Oh, shit, no. oh. Everybody says one. Okay. Everybody <laughs> says one. Yeah. And you start. You start. <laughs> what the fuck? You start. Um, <laughs> oh, let me think a little. Um, Machine Head, I would say. Ooh. Would have a, the early days. That was one. Mm. Yeah. I say the early days because there are six years of band history. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a good now. choice. It's a good choice. And, oh, well. um, yeah. The debut album, maybe. Um, I, everything, everything uh, from from Machine Head. We can kind of kind of listen to yeah. it all in in this time, and uh, basically all the albums. Um, I guess Machine Head also always is like if you are in a festival and you're talking about metal and you have like no. I like absolutely different tastes in metal music. Mm -hmm. Everyone agree, always agrees on Machine Head. So oh, I yeah. guess that is <laughs> true. It's a good band. Yeah. Simply good um, You had enough time to think. <laughs> I, and I did think. Um, I don't know. But like, um, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I like Beneath the Metal Cat, but I think what I bring into the band is this um, Moroccan um, anarchist band called Nawa Diffusion. And they're really good. Aha. Uh -huh. so, so you're promoting. You know, I didn't know that actually, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like never heard it before. <laughs> we'll have an info box. But no worry. You wouldn't know them. It's like you would <laughs> you totally get them in guards. Damn, you know, I, I heard it. <laughs> I should yeah, so news. <laughs> I'm uh, into a band called. He hates it. He hates it. Be, uh, called Ozark Tentacles. <laughs> yeah. But there's this, no fucking influence from them. Mm -hmm. in but I like the music and I like to yeah. experiment around with it like okay. it's in metal. It's some direction I, I like. Okay. I think there's an influence okay. from that band on, on okay. my taste of music. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know that. <laughs> you see? <laughs> but that's not your problem. You just did it before. <laughs> so, uh, I would say I'm. I think I will say between the buried and me. Yeah. Because that I is like. I thought you would say that too. The what? I think I thought I you would have, have said, said that too. Good. Yeah, you were right. <coughs> um, and you were drunk. Yeah, I mean, like, that's great music, and that's also very. Uh, like, they have a lot of different and weird parts, and that is something that. I mean, we have it in a very different way, but, like. We like this awesome. stuff. Yeah. That's like weird, it's good. Okay, guys, thank you so much, and uh, I very much like your hat. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, we'll catch you next time, I promise. So, you thank you. Catch me.
Thank you very much. Next yeah, week. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>